Top 10 Most Protected Women in Africa Have you ever wondered who the most protected women in Africa are? If you have, then you're lucky and this video is just for you. Welcome to today's video as you'll be watching the top 10 most protected women in Africa. Number 10. Yvonne Ike Yvonne Ike is a managing director and head of Sub-Saharan Africa at Bank of America. Yvonne has more than 25 years experience in the financial services sector and since joining the Bank of America in September 2014, she established the bank as a leader in providing international financial services in the Sub-Saharan African region. In 2020, Yvonne joined the Global Advisory Council of Oxford University Business School. She was even recognized by the late Queen of England as one of the top 200 businesswomen in the UK to make a significant impact in society. And in 2019, she was also recognized as one of the top 100 women CEOs in Africa. Yvonne has a steady security team that walks her whenever she's out of home and is actually the 10th most protected woman in Africa. Number 9. Her Excellency Mutale Nalumango Mutale Nalumango is an educator and politician who is the 14th and current Vice President of Zambia, the second woman to hold the position. She previously served as Vice President of the Secondary Schools Teachers Union of Zambia before resigning to begin her political career in 2001. She first became a member of the National Assembly in 2001 as a member of the Movement for Multi-Party Democracy, representing the Kaputa constituency. She later served as Deputy Minister of Information and Deputy Speaker in Parliament, the first woman to hold the position. Need I say more about her convoy? You can already tell that she stands in the ninth position in our list. 8. Rebecca Nyandeng de Mabior Rebecca Nandeng is a South Sudanese politician. She has been one of the vice presidents of South Sudan in the Unity Government since February 2020. She served as the Minister of Roads and Transport for the Autonomous Government of Southern Sudan. It would be surprising if Mrs. Rebecca had no steady security, but as the advisor to the president and vice president, she has invested in the strong security system. Well, the nation makes it possible for her to have protection at all times. Moving on to the seventh on the list, we have Her Excellency Amina Jane Mohammed. Amina Jane Mohammed is a Nigerian British diplomat and politician who is serving as the fifth Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations. Previously, she was Nigerian Minister of Environment from 2015 to 16 and was a player in the post 2015 development agenda process. She is a member of the UN Interagency Coordination Group on Antimicrobial Resistance IACG, and is one of the most influential and secured women across the African continent. 6. Her Excellency Dr. Monique Sanzabaganwa Monique Sanzagabanwa is a Rwandan economist, politician and diplomat who has served as the Vice Chairperson of the African Union Commission, effective since 6 February 2021. She is also credited to leading the efforts to set up the legal framework and policy guidelines for microfinance in Rwanda. Such a trio personality needs not less than a whole convoy put in place by the state. Well, yes, that's exactly how protected Dr. Monique is and ranks as the sixth most protected woman in Africa. 5. Her Excellency Miriam Chabi Talata Miriam Talata is Benin's first female vice president. The former teacher and school inspector is one of the few but growing number of women reaching higher offices across sub-Saharan Africa. She is a former professor of philosophy and former vice president of the National Assembly of Benin and carries along trained security guards for protection against the opposition parties. At the fourth position, we have Her Excellency Jessica Alupo. Jessica Rose Epel Alupo, commonly known as Jessica Alupo, is the ninth and current vice president of Uganda since 2021. She's a Ugandan politician, educator, and former military officer. This lady, though fierce, carries along fiercer guard in every outing, and you dare not come close. She's also an elected member of parliament at Katakwi District's Women's Representative. 3. Her Excellency Samia Suluhu Hassan Samia Suluhu Hassan is a Tanzanian politician 
who has been serving since 19th March 2021 as the 6th and first female president of Tanzania. Suluhu served as a minister in the semi-autonomous region during the administration of President Amani Karume. She served as the Member of Parliament for the Makunduchi constituency from 2010 to 2015. In 2014, she was elected as the Vice Chairperson of the Constituent Assembly. Not only is she highly protected, her property also is. You ever saw an entourage of a president? All classes of cars, ranging from pickups to Range Rovers. And of course, you could never have an opportunity to even get close. Number 2. Her Excellency Jewel Taylor Jewel Sayana Taylor, born Howard, is a Liberian politician who is currently serving as the 30th Vice President of Liberia. She was married to convicted warlord and former president Charles Taylor and was First Lady of Liberia during his presidency. In 2005, Jewel Taylor was elected the Senate of Liberia for Bong County as a member of the National Patriotic Party. She served as the chairperson of the Senate Health and Social Welfare Committee on Gender, Women and Children. She tops as the second most protected woman in Africa with trained military personnel as security in numbers we haven't finished counting. Well, the first and most protected woman in Africa is the influential president. Number 1. Her Excellency Sally Wegzeode this particular lady is full of surprises, and we can term her first to ever do it in Africa. I mean, just watch her life here. Saleh Wegzeode is the fifth president and first woman president of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia since 25th October 2018. Amazingly, she began her career in the Ministry of Education and later joined the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in 1988. She then began her long diplomatic career as ambassador to Senegal with accreditation to Mali, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Cape Verde, and the Gambia. Fam, this lady was super conscious from the start. She knew exactly what she was up to. You can tell. She was subsequently appointed as ambassador of Ethiopia to France, Tunisia, and Morocco, and permanent representative to UNESCO. After her return to Ethiopia, she was appointed Permanent Representative to the African Union and Director General for African Affairs at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Ethiopia. In 2011, she was appointed as the first dedicated Director General of the United Nations Office in Nairobi. In June 2018, she was appointed by Secretary General Antonio Guterres as his special representative to the African Union and head of the United Nations Office to the African Union. She was the first woman to hold these two positions. Now you get it. President Sally is the most protected woman in Africa. Before we take a break for the next video fam, let me know how you feel about these great women in the comment section. Also, like, subscribe to our channel for more inspiring videos. Thanks for watching.